Hey, my name is Nikki, and today I will show you how to paint a watermelon. No, wait, that was the text from my last video. And if you haven't seen it yet, I leave a link so you can save it and check it out later. But first, let's paint a pineapple. So, with this video, I want to start my Trace and Paint With Me series. Because I know how hard it can be when you start painting and you don't know what to paint or even where to start. And if you then torture yourself with hours of sketching, the desire to paint is then usually gone very quickly. So I've already drawn a sketch for you that you can download from my website, trace onto a sheet of watercolor paper and start painting immediately. Okay, let's make a quick art supply rundown. I'm using a mixed media sketch pad with 120 pound paper, my Schmincke watercolor set, my round brushes and two fine liner. I have two different nib sizes here, a bigger size 08 for the outlining and a very small size 02 for the shading lines. And because we use them first and then paint on top, it's important that they are waterproof. And before I forget, I also made a video for you where I explain three different ways to trace an image onto paper without using a light pad. So if you want, check that out too. When the sketch is ready, we start drawing the outlines and we are using the fine liner with the bigger nib size first. And if that is done, I use the O2 fine liner and do a little bit of shading at the bottom of the leaves and I give some structure to the leaves too. And then I get rid of all the pencil lines with my kneadable eraser. The cool thing about this eraser is that it doesn't leave these fuzzy crumbs or anything on the paper. So if you don't have one yet, I highly recommend you to get one. Now I am using my number 6 round brush. The brush size is a bit different from brand to brand. So choose one that's not too big and not too small. Give it a quick rinse and then it's time to wake up the colors. Then I lay down on my palette some olive green and some permanent green and I mix these two colors together and add a bit of water so that the color isn't too opaque. And then we start painting the leaves. If you have an excess of paint on the paper, dry your brush on a paper towel first and then you can absorb the color with a brush. As long as the color is still wet, I add some more permanent green to the bottom of the leaf. So I have a bit of color variation and that always looks good and makes it a bit more interesting. The color should be nice and opaque. And then I start painting the next leaf, but I choose one that's not directly connected to the one that I've already painted, because it hasn't fully dried and it could bleed into each other, and that's not what we want. Now 
To have a little more color variation in the picture, paint a few leaves a little lighter. You can do this by just adding a little more water to your pigment. And that's what we do now with every single leaf. If you're done with that, rinse your brush and then we add some Indian yellow to our palette. If you don't have Indian yellow, you can of course use any other bright orange. The color shouldn't be too opaque, so add a little water. And then we start painting the fruit. As long as the paint is still wet, I add some olive green to the corners. Then I rinse my brush and dry it a bit with my paper towel and mix the olive green a bit into the orange and let it bleed. Then I add some dark brown onto my palette and do the same thing like I did with the olive green. And then it's time to move on to the next part. Remember that the areas shouldn't touch each other directly to prevent the paint from bleeding. Then again, lay down some orange paint 
Add olive green to the edges, nice and opaque, and let it bleed. Then add dark brown and let it also bleed. Okay, now we're done with the fruit, let's turn back to the leaves. I wake up again some of my ingredients that I have on my palette, mix it a bit together and then I give some more structure to my leaves. Just some strokes here and there and a bit shading at the bottom of each leaf to build them up a bit. If you had as much fun as I did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any of my videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye!